In the village. What do you want? Information. Whose side are you on? That would be telling. We want information. 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 You won't get it. By hook or by crook, we will. Who are you? The new number two. Who is number one? You are number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> Why did you slash your wrists, 73? Aren't you happy here? You're not being very cooperative, my dear. There's nothing I can tell you. Come now. You must know where your husband is. He's still over there. Where? Oh, somewhere there. He had some work to finish. Was he devoted to you? He is devoted to me. Oh. So you don't mind about him and the woman Mariah? That's a lie. Stop protecting your husband's memory, 73. He went to her hotel several times, you know. And then there was the villa, of course. Let me show you just how loyal your dear husband is to you. They look quite at home together. Would you like to know the date, place? Look. I've wasted enough time. Six. You'll pay for this. You will. This is number two. I want you at my house immediately. We've got nothing to talk about. you. You're wasting your time. Many have tried. Amateurs. You're professional. A professional sadist? Light blue. Fearless. Or are you? Each man has his breaking point, you know. And you are no exception. You react. Are you afraid of me? What is going on up there? 
disgusting. You think I'm strong? Hmm. We'll see. You must emboss or the hammer sign. You must be anvil or hammer. I see you know your ghetto. And you see me as the anvil? Precisely. I am going to hammer you. Number two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, everything's under control. No, sir, no problems. Assistance? Oh, no, sir, I can manage. <laughs> yes, sir, of course. Be seeing you. Uh, you were saying something about a hammer? Get out. Thank you very much. I'll break you, number six. Yes. Supervisor. Supervisor, number two. Alert all posts. Special surveillance on number six. Report any unusual activity to me personally. Two units, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Hmm. These, um, these new records. Oh, I'd, um, I'd like to hear La Lesienne. Ah, yes, sir. The Davier recording. Beautiful. There's no one to touch him on, Bizet. It takes a Frenchman. I'd like to hear them all. I beg your pardon, sir? How many copies of it have you got? Six. May I have them? If you insist, sir. But they're all the same. I doubt it. Yes, sir. Come. Thank you very much. Uh, and the others? Uh, yes, sir. All of them? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. satisfactory recording. Really, sir? I thought it was first class. Well, it's a matter of taste. Nevertheless, thank you very much. Be seeing. Be seeing, sir. Give me number two. Urgent. I don't understand. They sound identical. Yes, sir. And you say that he was timing them? Yes, sir. I'm positive. Uh, there was one in particular. 
I don't suppose you know which one. Oh, I, I have no idea, sir. He kept looking at his watch, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper. Did he now? Well, the sleeves are all the same. No variation in tempo. What was number six listening for? What makes one of these records different? I've no idea, sir. Oh, and that's not all, sir. Mm -hmm. He left his tally-ho behind. And? Well, look at the front page, sir. Right, you can go. Yes, sir. Take these with you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, leave the paper. That's all, Holding. Number six. A plan? Where is he now? He's going down towards the beach, sir. Keep on his tail, I'll follow you down. Which way is he heading? He's going along the seawall towards the swimming pool. After him. Careful now. What's he doing? He's going towards the stone boat. Keep out of sight and go on reporting. He's going aboard. He's 
Someone's going into the cabin. Now he's come out. He's heading back. Let him go. I'll join you at the stone boat. You're sure he didn't have it with him when he left? Yes, quite sure, sir. I can't need you anymore, 14. You can go. But I thought... Don't. You... Just obey orders. Yes, sir. Laboratory. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be over right away, sir. I want these tested immediately. Yes, sir. For what, sir? Anything. Words, figures, whatever's written on them. Does it Don't be... argue with me! I'm telling you, there is. A message of some kind. Try everything. X-ray, infra... What are you staring at? Nothing. Then get on with it! Well? This one's negative, too. Of course. I didn't expect anything else. Shall we put them through again? What's the point? They've tried everything. He isn't going to like this. Sorry, sir, but there's nothing. Nothing at all? No, sir, they're just blank sheets of paper. They can't be! Why should he hide blank sheets of paper in the stone boat? Or are you hiding something? What do you mean, sir? I mean, was there a message here and you're not telling me? Why should I do that, sir? Perhaps you're in with him. In with whom? Six! Number six! I don't know what I'm talking about. Get out. Yes, I'd like to insert a, a, a private advert in the personal column of the next issue, please. Certainly, sir. What is it? I have it written down. There you are. E. Massam. E. Massamal in Aldea, case of Sueña. Nine words. That'll be three units, please, sir. Good. Spanish, isn't it? That's right. Cervantes, Don Quixote. Oh, yes. Sort of personal joke between myself and uh, a certain friend. I see. That word Aldea, doesn't it mean village? Yes. Hospital. Yes, hospital. Psychiatrics. Head of the department. Director of psychiatrics. Ah, yes, doctor. Uh, what's the verdict um, on our friend? Friend. Friend. Now, your report on number two, Doctor. Number two? What are you talking about? Who, who is this speaking? I understand. You'd rather not talk on the telephone. Probably very wise. Never mind. I'll be seeing you later on. Mm -hmm. I understand. You'd rather not talk on the telephone. Probably very wise. Never mind. I'll be seeing you later on. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you'd explain. I can't. I, I'm as much in the dark as you are. You don't know who it was who telephoned you? No. It was number six. And the oscilloscope will prove it. Voices are like fingerprints. No two are the same. Even if the voice is disguised, the pattern doesn't change. I'll now show you the voice pattern of your caller. I answer. Yeah. You'd rather not talk on the telephone. Probably very wise. Never mind. I'll be seeing you later on. Mm -hmm. Now you'll see the pattern of the single word you taken during a routine interview with number six. 
Now we run the tape again. Compare them. The word you on the tape is identical to the one up there. The patterns will lock. Not talk on the telephone. Probably very wise. Never mind. I'll be seeing you. As I thought. They match. It was number six who telephoned you. Do you still plead innocent? I tell you, I haven't the faintest idea. You aren't preparing a report on my... mental health? Of course not. And number six didn't see you later? No. Then why did he ring you? Well, I've told you, I don't know. You're a psychiatrist, aren't you? Would you say that number six was mad? Not according to our records. Then he had a reason for telephoning you, didn't he? What was it? Why don't you ask him? Would you like to sit in this chair? I was merely suggesting... Don't tell me what to do! You can go. Thank you. Asked me to play the Farandelle from the La Lesienne Suite. What else? I don't understand, sir. What else did he say? Nothing, sir. Nothing. Number six just asked you to play a tune and then walked away. Did he say I'd... I didn't notice? Does that make sense to you? No, sir. No, it doesn't, does it? I'll ask you once again. Did number six say anything else? About me, for example? About you, sir. Well, did he? No, sir. Perhaps you've forgotten. Try and remember. He didn't, sir. You're lying, aren't you? There's something going on. I don't know what you mean, sir. Ah, I don't know what you mean. I'm as much in the dark as you are. You're all lying! It's a book! It's going behind my back. Who do they think they're dealing with? Pygmies! Oh, get out! Get out! Here is a personal message for number six. It is from 113. I'll call you later. And it reads, Warmest greetings on your birthday. May the sun shine on you today and every day. And that concludes the personal messages. We continue with music. <laughs> I don't understand. 
Birthday greetings for number six from number 113. That's right. It's not right, it's all wrong, and you know it. It is not number six's birthday today. Oh. Yes, oh. And number 113 doesn't exist. Doesn't exist? An old woman. She died a month ago. I swear, number two, I... Oh, of course. You're innocent. You know nothing. Nothing at all. And that message, may the sun shine on you today and every day. You don't know what it means. It means what it says. It isn't a COVID message for number six. I've no idea. You're finished. Finished? I'm relieving you of your post as supervisor. You, take over. Yes, number two. And steer clear of number six or you'll lose more than your job, understand? Yes, number two. And that goes for all of you. I'll break this conspiracy! You say number six put this personal ad in? Yes, sir. I checked as soon as I saw it. Now, an el aldea case is sueña. There is more harm in the village than is dreamt of. Something ought to be done about number six. I can take care of him. It's got to be done soon. Every day is a bigger threat to you personally. Let me deal with him. He's undermining your authority. Give me the word. He doesn't hide it. He's out to poison the whole village. There's a plant. If anything happened to him, our masters would know who's responsible. Leave it to me. I'll never connect you with it. An accident. It's the only way, sir. What do you want? I don't want anything. You sent for me. I did. Yes. You telephoned. You said you wanted to see me urgently. I didn't phone you. It's your voice. He said he was number two. Someone in this village is impersonating him. I have some calls to make. I shan't need you. Right, sir. Troublemaker number six. Do you know what I'd like, really like? To dust you down. I'd really enjoy that. Oh, nothing stopping you. Kosher? I challenge you. I accept. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good value. Special import. Uh, what about this type, sir? 
No. I'll have this one. Oh, as you please, sir. Well, sir, that'll be 42 units in all, sir. And a what? A cuckoo clock, sir. And that's not all. I think he was looking for a special one, sir. He didn't want the one I picked. He seemed to be searching for a specific box. All right, thank you. It must be a bomb. Approaching restricted area. Let's have him on the screen. Give a number two quickly. What is it? What's the matter? Number six, approaching restricted area. What are you up to? He's in the mangrove walk. He could be making for the shores or the hills. Don't lose him. I'm coming over. <laughs> sending a message. Now just try it. Bring it down. I want that message. Be minimum strength. Minimum strength, sir. I want this deciphered right away. Yes, sir. 20, 60, 
40, 47, 67, 81, 91, 80. Vital message tomorrow, 0600 hours. By visual signal. Visual Stand by, observers. Standing by, sir. Camera eight. Camera eight on, sir. Switch to camera five. Camera five on, sir. Camera 13. Camera 13 on, sir. Get that mouse down! Get it down! Yes, sir. Get him closer. Get him as close as you can. Who can he be signaling to? We'll find out. Radar! Anything? No, sir. Not at sea. There must be. No, sir. There's no ship, sir. There must be an aircraft, helicopter, something. There's nothing, sir. Under the sea. Submarine! Try the sonar. No, sir. There's nothing coming through. But he must be signaling to someone. That boss! Did you get it? Yes, sir. What did it say? Well! Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Here's your answer, sir. Oh. Pat a cake, pat a cake. This is what you put in. And that's what came out, sir. But it is a new code. And the computer's not programmed for it! Sleep well. I had another terrible night. Insomnia. Couldn't sleep. So restless. And there's no point in lying in bed when you're awake, is there? What are you talking about? So I got up, went out. I had a long walk on the beach. It's marvelous at that time of the day. Invigorating. The air is brisk and clear. You must be out of your mind. The rain on your face, the wind on your cheek. You don't look now. The waiter's watching you. Yes. It's the only way. I'm so glad you agree with me. Get me number two. Quickly. You expect me to believe that? But that's what happened. He came over and... And asked if you'd slept well. Yes, sir. <laughs> the waiter said you were whispering. I wasn't, but he was. What about? Well, he said that... Yes. Well, he... Talks a lot of rubbish. Then he said the waiter was watching us. Why? Why did number six say that? Good news, sir. Don't you? No, sir. You're working with number six. Me, sir. And I thought you were the one man I could trust. But you can. I'm loyal. Traitor! <laughs> Traitor! Traitor! You've lost two of your friends! I'll break the lot of you! You too! You're in this plot, aren't you? 
Oh, yes! Get out! Get out of this house! Turn that thing off. I beg your pardon. Turn it off, I said. I'm listening. Music makes for a quiet mind. I'd rather you didn't. Yes. Uh, what's your problem? You put the poison in. Did I? For number two. I'm finished. Sorry to hear that. I'll kill you! Will? Come to keep you company. I hear that all your friends have deserted you. You can't trust anyone anymore. It's a pity. It's odd, isn't it? All this power at your disposal, and yet you're alone. You do feel alone, don't you? What do you want? To talk, to listen. I have nothing to say. That's not like the old number two. Where is the strong man? The hammer. You have to be hammer or anvil, remember? I know who you are. I'm number six. No. D6. D6? Yes. Cynthia, thy <laughs> armor. <laughs> to spy on me. All right, I'm not quite with you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you, you can stop acting now, you know. I've been on to you from the beginning. I knew what you were doing. <laughs> all those messages you sent, and all those people you recruited, I knew you were advanced. You didn't fool me! Maybe you fooled yourself? What does that mean? Let us suppose, for argument's sake, that what you say is true, that I was planted here? By XO4! XO4? Hmm? Oh, very well. By XO4, to, uh, to check on village security, to check on you. You were! What would have been your first duty as a loyal citizen? Not to interfere. But you did interfere. You have admitted it yourself. There is a name for that. Sabotage! No! Who are you working for, number two? For us! For us! That is not the way it's going to sound to X-04. I swear to you! You could be working for the enemy, or you could be a blunderer who's lost his head. Either way, you failed. And they do not like failure here. You've destroyed me. destroyed yourself. A character flaw. You were afraid of your masters. A weak link in the chain of command waiting to be broken. Don't tell them. Don't report me. I don't intend to. You are going to report yourself. I have to report a breakdown in control. Number two needs to be replaced. Yes, this is number two reporting. 